This is Lauren Wagesbeck. Hi, this is David Gray. And we are now engaged. Ooh, ooh. This is how we met. Lauren was at Northwestern State University, Miss Northwestern 2012. She had a goal to be on Broadway, move to New York, very talented. She came home to visit friends and family at, before she went on to New York. And uh, the day she came home, we were out downtown. I was out with a friend. I was celebrating graduation. Which when I saw her, all I noticed was her teeth. And <laughs> I said, wow, look at those teeth. And we spotted each other across the room. And we made eye contact. And all these people, it was like Moses parted the Red Sea. <laughs> and all I could see was her and her teeth. But, <laughs> <laughs> but all I could see was her. And she said, and I walked up to her and I grabbed her by the hips and I jerked her close to me. And I said, wow, you're beautiful. Let's go out. How about Saturday? She said, done. <laughs> it means people, good people in a bar, right? We do. Don't give up in a bar. You can meet a good person in a bar. So that, that's kind of the story on how Lauren and I met, thanks to some uh, fate and some friends looking out for us, because friends mean everything to us and family. One thing that Lauren and I love to do is work out together. Ooh, ooh. We love working out, riding bikes. Uh, yeah, we ride bikes fun. to the lakes. It's, it's gorgeous out there. I mean, just being out there together and being able to do those things together and share those moments are what makes our relationship special. And you know, not, not a lot of couples can share that together. People go off and do their daily things separately, but we get to do those things together. We'll do sprints, plyometrics. She's got a dance background, so it helps a lot. Her balance is good. I, I've tried to teach him, you know, some Pilates and yoga. He doesn't really get it just yet. <laughs> but he's working on it. He is. It's That's all right. We trust each other when we work out. We do trust each other. I and mean, that's what it takes to make this marriage work, yeah. right? I can catch you when you fall. Oh. Every time. We do have a thing that we do on Kiss Cam. Should we show on Kiss Cam? Yeah, this is, uh, we were at the Astros game and um, they caught us on the big screen. It's very romantic, be prepared. It's super, super romantic. <laughs> and that is romance. Kiss Cam. <laughs> About one month after I met Lauren, we went to my mom's for dinner, which we do on Sunday nights. The whole family is over there. And it was about the second time Lauren met my family. My nieces were over there. As I'm sitting on the couch, just kind of taking it all in, I see Lauren walk in from the kitchen and kneel down with two of my nieces and kind of play with them and get in their face. And I said from that moment on, when I saw her make contact with two, two little girls, I said, I'm marrying this woman. This is what I've always wanted. Which brings me to the next point. January 2014, we were planning on going to Disney World as a family. I said, I'm gonna propose to Lauren on that day. Little did I know and little did she know that we were gonna try out for the X Factor on a camping trip about six months prior to that January trip. <laughs> Our families like to RV and uh, we went down to New Orleans French Quarter Festival one weekend. Camp. Yeah, camping. <laughs> we're really roughing in $200,000 <laughs> RVs. But anyway, <laughs> can you tell we like the camp and rough it? <laughs> anyway, so we went down to the French Quarter Festival and her mom was like, by the way, you know that they have an X Factor audition. It's a singing competition in New Orleans the same weekend. Lauren said, there's no way I'm doing it. I said, Lauren, you gotta do it. She said, I'm, I'm more of a family girl now. I'm kind of, I wanna take a step off the stage and get in the audience. I said, heck, give it one more shot. Give it one more shot. She said, I'd make a deal with you, David. If you go out there with me, and you're there with me every step of the way, I'll try out. And I said, do you realize that means I'm gonna have to sing <laughs> in front of an audience? And if you've ever seen me sing, it's pretty bad. Anyway, I said, Lauren, I'll do it. I'll go down into the producers, and when I get down there, I'll just say, you know what? I can't sing, and I'm here to support my girlfriend. And just see what happens. Lauren said, I want you to go first. I said, whatever it takes. So I walk in and they have two producers and uh, they say, what's your name? I said, I'm David Gray from Baker, Louisiana. And they said, what are you singing? I said, let me stop you right there. I said, I can't sing. 
They said, what are you doing here? It's a singing competition. They thought it was funny. I said, I'm here to support my girlfriend. She can really sing, and when I sing, it makes her sound a lot better. They said, well, bring her in. So they brought her in. And I think they really liked uh, the way we looked. Who knows? I don't know what they liked, but I'm sure, I know they didn't like my singing. I sang Usher nice and slow. I got a real pretty, pretty little thing that's waiting for me. You've been practicing? <laughs> You've been practicing. Huh? Uh, so I sang, and they laughed. And Lauren sang and she nailed her audition. She nailed it. It's hilarious as we were moving up to the, like after the first day we went through the auditions, Lauren's actually, like we were camping still. I'm actually performing in the RV. Like I'm actually gonna Practicing. go through the next round. I like got a little dance and like we're choreographing some stuff and Lauren's really like focused on me like I'm gonna really do good. We picked out like two or three more songs just in case they asked him to sing it was another hilarious. one. I'm like, I know you like my chicken fry. It's like, what am I doing? Do I have a chance at this competition? Do I really have a chance? If you could sing just all of that much, you, uh, you probably would have won the show. So anyway, they give us these golden tickets. We're freaking out. We're chest bumping like we won the, <laughs> we're, we're popping champagne. Like, like we, we won, won the, the show. Yeah, we like, we won the show. Like we got a Sony <laughs> recording contract or something. But uh, we really didn't get, we got a piece of paper that said you not, you may not even get on TV. So I was like, you're in, Lauren. I was like, I'm out. I was happy, because I'm done with my singing career finally. <laughs> and I said, it's over for me. But I thought very quietly to myself as we were driving that home, way home, I said, if, I get a call back with her. I'm not waiting till January 2014. I'm seizing the day. We got a call back on my 31st birthday. They called Lauren and they said, you're in there. You're in there like swimwear. And I said, damn, that's awesome. And they said, can I talk to David? Cause he's in there too. <laughs> Little did she know and my family know that I was gonna propose to her. The producers of The X Factor and me had a little game plan that nobody knew about. And leading up to that day, I had two months to basically buy a ring, <laughs> keep it a secret, find the perfect way to do it. Because I had about six scenarios, because you know this is a reality show, and there's no way to know what's going to happen on the show. So I had to come up, me and my brother running the lakes. We were like, what are we going to do, man? What are we going to do? I didn't know if she, wanted to, if she was going to go first on stage. I didn't know if I was going to go first. I don't know if I was going to ruin her chances in the competition. There's a lot more to think about than just a marriage proposal when you're on TV and you don't know what's going to happen. Not to mention that I was going to have to sing in front of on TV. And remember, I cannot sing. Like, it was all fun and games until Simon Cow, Kelly Rowland, and the rest of the celebrity judges are back behind 10,000 screaming fans, and I don't even know how to sing. <laughs> but we practiced your, your um, your notes, though. Yeah, she got me. Mommy made me munch my m and Munch, crunch. Yeah, that's <laughs> nah, Let's not ever do that again. <laughs> I did my best. I feel like I rocked it. He was amazing. I'm telling you, I've never seen him more confident. He it was, was a movie star. He really was. He was a rock star. It was there. funny how uh, all the producers knew. Everybody producing the show knew, but my family and her, and they were wizards. They hid it from her. They, they took her away and like made her do these stupid hey. things so they could interview me. And, build up the story. I literally, and, I thought they were interviewing us a lot because we were like cool and kind of cute and you know, we were the cool couple. I mean, little did I know. I mean, he was freaking playing. I, I had no idea. It was unbelievable. The most important thing is to have our family witness it. But to involve everybody on national TV and everybody at home and our friends and to do it in a special way meant the world to me because you know what? Lauren is on stage. And I wanted that special moment to be on stage because that's where she loves to be. So I wanted that to happen. Basically elbowed the security guard, tackled him, fought him. No, I made all that up. But <laughs> I did ask him politely to get out of my way and walk on stage. <laughs> and uh, when I walked out, it looked like Lauren saw somebody, a mummy rising from the dead. I was like, this might not go good because <laughs> she's terrified. And uh, she was like, this look like, is he alive? Or what are you, hell are you doing, David? I just never imagined he could pull something like this off. I was just in sheer awe. So um, I came out, got on a knee, and uh, I got four no's from my audition. But I left with one yes. 
And that's all that mattered.